Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights, and we've got the Tabilis Grand Slam coming up. So a little preview video for you guys now. But before I get into that, just a little shout out to those who became a channel member. So thanks a lot for your support. And anyone else, if you want to join, just hit the join button next to the channel name. It's just a few dollars a month. And I'm looking to actually use that money for some projects on the channel thinking about uh, getting some tutorials together from some famous judoka around the world and I would like to compensate them for their tutorials uh, so yeah have a think about it anyway let's get into the action so Lodfolaev he will be competing at Tbilis great Uchimata as you see here he's definitely one of the favorites to win it didn't have the best outing at his last tournament but he will be hoping to get revenge I imagine Next up from the Netherlands, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. If anyone knows how do I say this guy's name, just let me know in the comments, but he's a great judoka. I have a highlights video of him on my channel, so go check him out. A really exciting thrower in the 60kg category. But moving up now into 66, and we've got Magavilashvili, so home advantage for him. And he will be looking to get gold. Very exciting judoka. Typical uh, Georgian style of judo, as you would imagine. Lots of makikomis, big pickups, and some big koshiwaza. Really fast, too. Look at that. That's just amazing. And next up, we have Zantaraya from the Ukraine. And he used to be quite a big thrower with Koshiwaza, but he's kind of turned into more of a Nawaza specialist as of late. So here's a lovely Nawaza transition into an, an armbar. And here's another one, so he's got so much experience. He's just so good at transitions and finding people's arms. Look at this. Turns him over, foot over the face. This an armbar. So he's really exciting to watch. We're looking forward to see how he does. And Gambold from Mongolia. Big strong Uchimata here. But if I was to be a betting man, I'd say Margaret Vili, Gold, maybe loses to Zantaraya in the finals. Anyway, 73 kg category now. Sender Chur. So if you look at my channel recently, Sender Chur, he uh, sent me a video and I kind of wanted a tutorial from him. But I don't think he understood my English and just sent me some nice Uchikomi of him doing Norote Sionage, so check that out. But hopefully in the future uh, we can cross that communication barrier and he can help me out, I can help him out. And you guys can help us all out by hitting that join button. Looking forward to it guys. Uh, kind of segueing here as we go over Magalodin. Uh, but I do want to make the biggest judo database for techniques uh, in the world and I think kind of DVDs websites it's kind of old school if I can just quickly uh, get tutorials from famous judoka and pay them to do it I think that would be a really good way to spread judo throughout the world so yeah help me out guys anyway Turaev from Uzbekistan he hasn't competed recently I think he had a few injuries uh, but he's always a great, great judoka to see. And coming from that Uzbekistani team with the Iliadis, uh, would not be surprised to see him scoring gold. So gold for me, for Tururayev. Maybe him and Sendocha meet in the finals. And things might just go like this clip here. Anyway, let's move on to 81s. So Griashvili, who has had... Uh, some good results in recent times and he combines Georgian Judo with kind of more traditional Judo as well you'll see a nice nice Uranage but he's got good Newaza uh, good Stemi Waza good throw, uh, sacrifice throws as you see here against the Korean nice Tomoe Nage but he's definitely the favorite for take gold but he's got to get through a few people and one of those is Malai and Malai coming up 
short in his last outing, getting silver. But he's looking stronger and stronger as he kind of solidifies himself uh, outside of Iran. So it must be difficult changing, changing dojos and changing where you train and you know settling into a new life. But definitely Malay. Malay looks good as well. And this man, uh, Valois Frotier, he is from Canada and a really good judoka. Nice Demi was a here veteran. Always ends up uh, high on the podiums, and we haven't seen him in a while, so it would be good to see him compete at Tumbilis. Right, 90 kg category now, and one of my favorite judoka, Bobanov. I love his Seoinage, and just recently I learned that he can throw right or left pretty much the same Koshiwazas from right or left grips. Very, very good judoka, and I do want to see him get gold soon. I've been betting on him for the last two or three tournaments, but he just hasn't pulled it out. Some tough competition though. So we've got Silva Mraz from Cuba. Very traditional judo, nice uchigaris, uchimatas. Always takes a high grip. Not a huge variety of techniques, but he does what he does really well. Nice Kochi Ochi there, kind of hugger isk like. And stops the pickup here, transitions into a nice Uchimata. So he's really, always a really dangerous fighter. And Macedo from Brazil. Can't say I know much about Macedo, but he's got a beautiful Seoinage, which we're going to see in a second. Here we go, look at that. So really fast. For a 90 kg fighter, it would be good to see what he does. I probably should know more about him. Look at that! Look at the speed that he jumps in there. Quite incredible, really. And next, the under 100 kg category, we've got Francesca from Portugal. And he's always got nice Sode Suri Komigoshis and Seoinages. Also mixes in a bit of an Osoto as well. But he's also another big guy who can jump in there really quickly. Lots of power, really explosive. World champion, obviously. Nice counter here against the Canadian. Uh, who is also competing at this tournament. Al Nahas. With the dyed hair here. How often do you see a judoka with dyed hair? I, f I feel like it's such a rarity and I don't know why. I feel like more people are dying their hair in the world, but not Judoka. Anyway, here he is with uh, normal hair. Nice Seoinage. And a good win here against Haga. Very strange technique, but a score nonetheless. And also, in the under 100 kg category, we've got Frey from Germany. And he's quite the veteran, very strong. Nice Uchimata as well, a hopping Uchimata. And he likes to use that strength, obviously. Two hands around the back. And a nice counter. Keep on there. Looks to lock up a choke as well. Such a veteran fray. And here we see a nice Seoinage. Plus 100s now. So we've got silver. Of course from Brazil, and he doesn't have Rainier or Harasawa to get in his way this time. But he will have two strong Georgian fighters to deal with. So it'll be interesting how to, s to see how they match up. So as I said, two Georgian fighters, and we've got Matiashvili and Zalashvili. Matiashvili definitely the more explosive of the two. Hard to tell, but he might be a bit shorter. And he's got a nice Seoyo Toshi and a nice Makikomi. Here's a Makikomi. Big Makikomi there, lots of lift. And here's a Seoyo Toshi. More lift as well. So very explosive Judoka. And here's the other one, Zalishvili. 
Good counter here. Also really strong judo. I guess you would expect that at place 100. So it'll be interesting to see how these two match up and how they deal with silver. Nice! Ashiwaza here. Sasai. And I love this kind of makikomi, you know, locking up the arm and using your hands to roll over. Good work by Salashvili. So let me know in the comments, guys, who do you have to pick up gold in each category? Make sure to subscribe. Consider hitting that join button. And I'll see you in the weekend. Peace.